Kentucky is known for many things. Yes, sir. Good morning, neighbors, and a big good morning from the boys and girls down here in Renfro Valley. Of them all, its music is one of the most noteworthy contributions to American culture. Oh, the road is rocky, but it won't be rocky long. True country, bluegrass, and gospel music originated here and has transcended every generation since the early 1900s. Here in Renfro Valley, the musical culture of Appalachia is honored and can still be heard today thanks to the foresight of a man by the name of John Lair, who single-handedly turned this area into the music capital of Kentucky. In 1939, John Lair opened the barn here in Renfro Valley, selling his partners on coming down here in the foothills of the Cumberland Mountains, where it was 125 miles from the nearest big city, the nearest radio station, and starting a show that had never been done in that kind of a location before. They wasn't sure that it was gonna work. In fact, the people watching the old barn being built predicted that the following year tobacco would be hung in that barn throughout the years to come. Over 70 years later, the barn dance tradition started by John Lair still takes place today. Every Saturday night, spectators near and far come together to witness a piece of American musical history. To this day, there is still an appreciation for the music and an interest to learn about the experiences that helped shape Renfro Valley. They like the barn dance because uh, they feel like they are a part of it. Uh, when uh, the, we read anniversaries, birthdays, we might stop in the middle of the program and sing happy birthday to someone. When it's over with, we go to the country music store and they come over and we meet the guests and they actually become, they get to know us, but we also get to know them, many of them that keep coming back, you know, time after time. So it's, it's a, not only are we a family, but we're a family with, with them. All he wanted to do was to give people a place to enjoy hometown music and have some good, wholesome fun. But John Lair accomplished much more than that. He helped put the sounds of Kentucky on the map forever. Miss Ann Lair Henderson, who is John Lair's uh, daughter, had an idea, you know, that all these other music hall of fames were honoring our Kentucky artists, whether it be the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame or the Country Music Hall of Fame. Now, Renfro Valley being the country music capital of Kentucky and the Lair family having naturally a major influence in Renfro Valley Entertainment Center. So the Kentucky Music Hall of Fame, you know, naturally fit right in with Renfro Valley. So it's really cool to have you here and have the Entertainment Center right next door. Renfro Valley is at the heart of Kentucky music preservation home to the Kentucky Music Hall of Fame and the traditional Renfro Valley barn dance. This is where you want to be to experience all the musical history that Kentucky has to offer. The great thing about the Kentucky Music Hall of Fame and what sticks out more than anything, more than any other music hall of fame around, is the amount of artists that just come from Kentucky uh, that was either born or lived here. When you look at the first lady of country music, Loretta Lynn, the father of bluegrass, Bill Monroe, the father of blues music, W.C. Handy, to have all those famous folks from uh, Kentucky. And then you get into folks like Florence Henderson and, and uh, uh, all the different artists from that genre, whether it be opera music, or gospel music with Dottie Rambo. That really what makes Kentucky Music Hall of Fame stand out more than any other museum is the amount of artists in all genres of music. And also, you know, the property itself being located here in Renfro Valley. The, the entrance into the Hall of Fame, which is the renovated John Lair Horse Stables, makes it really unique, ties it back into the history of Renfro Valley. Just steps away from the Hall of Fame, you can step back in time at the Bittersweet Cabin Village, a museum of authentic log cabins and artifacts dating back to the 1700s. The cabins offer a glimpse at the simpler life from centuries ago and serve as an educational resource preserving Appalachian history for all to enjoy. If people come and visit with us at the Bittersweet Cabins, they can see what our life was like when the early settlers came to this area and how that they had to depend on the land. They didn't have stores to go to. They had to provide everything that they needed. And as neighbors, they helped each other. So we called it the Bittersweet Cabins. 
Life was bitter, but it was also sweet. And they had a hard life, but yet it was more laid back, more easy. People who come to the bittersweet cabins, they can sit on the swing on the porch and uh, think about how days were. Come to hear the music. Come to learn. Come to enjoy life. Renfro Valley, a place to have the kind of fun on a Saturday night that you won't be ashamed of on Sunday morning. To learn more, visit us online or call the number on your screen.